Hello friends, welcome. Let us take an example of transportation problem for which we are going to formulate LPP or linear programming problem. We had already discussed this point uh, theoretically in our video lecture number 2. But here we are going to take a practical case. This is a transportation problem. These are the transportation cost per unit for transporting one unit from a particular plant to a particular warehouse. These plants are supply points. There are three and we have four demand points. To formulate uh, LPP for a transportation problem, first let us assume the number of units to be transported. Let XIJ be the number of units transported from plant I to warehouse J. They are XIJ. More precisely, X11 units are transported from plant A to warehouse P. X12 units are transported from plant A to warehouse Q. X13 units are transported from plant A to plant R and so on for all others x all other xij values now what we know that transportation problem has always the objective of minimizing the transportation cost so the xij units are transported or are to be transported at minimum possible cost so our objective is to minimize that is total transportation cost. Which is indicated by Z. Z equals to total cost. Now what do you mean cost exactly? We know that this is the transportation cost of one unit from a supply point to destination. And this is the quantity transported number of units. If we multiply the cost per unit by the number of units that will be the total cost of transporting this much unit from this supply point to this destination. That means x11 into 12 that will be an amount. That is the total cost of transporting x11 units from plant A to warehouse P. Similarly, we can calculate total cost for all these cells and the grand total of all these cost will be the total transportation cost which we want to minimize. So it will be 12x11 plus 10x12 plus 12x13 plus 13x14 plus 7x21 plus 11x22 plus 8x23 plus 14x24 plus 6x31 plus 16x32 plus 11x33 plus 7x34. If we substitute the numerical values of these x, i, j in this function, we will have the amount of total transportation cost. This is subject to the constraint. Constraints are of two types. Supply related constraints and demand related constraints. We have three supply points. So for supply, we will have three constraints. What will be that? The quantity to be transported from plant A are X11, X12, X13, X14. But the total supply available from plant A is 500 units. So the summation of all these four will be 500 units. So for plant A, it is X11 plus X12 plus X13 plus x14 equals to 500. Similarly for plant B, it is x21 plus x22 plus x23 plus x24 equals to 300. And similarly for plant C, it is x31 plus x32 plus x33 
plus x34 equals to 200. Now similarly, the case of demand. We have four demand points, so we will have four constraints relevant to demand. For demand center P, it will be x11 plus x21 plus x31 equals to 180 because total demand of warehouse P is 180. For Q, x12 plus x22 plus x32 equals to 150. X, sorry, for warehouse or demand point R, it will be x13 plus x23 plus x33 equals to 350. And for Warehouse S or demand point S, X14 plus X24 plus X34 equals to 320. And we know that all X, I, J are the number of units that can never be negative. So ultimately at the last there are Sorry, there is non-negativity condition that is all x, i, j are greater than or equal to 0 for i equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on and j equals to also 1, 2, 3 and so on. So this is a linear programming problem for a transportation problem. Through simplex method and with the help of computer packages we can solve this linear programming problem and obtain values of xij. It is not necessary to have all xij as positive. Some of them will be zero and some of them will be positive. And we also know that there must be m plus n number of rows plus number of columns minus one. That is three plus one minus one six. So we should have at least six xij values as positive to have the optimal solution of this transportation problem but the solution of transportation problem through linear programming and simplex method is not in our purview of study so that's all thank you